Um, so so try, let me try to unpack a bit uh, very briefly in a few minutes um, what we're actually trying to build to, to support this vision that Jason laid out. Um, and so the way that I like to think about it is really um, we're trying to separate incentives, right? Because if you create a token right now on Ethereum, it's very hard to separate the potentially the, the value or the speculative uh, incentive from the utility that you'd want to create a token for. And so we really think of this as, as two sides of the same token. So one side we keep on Ethereum. Those are the crypto assets that we stake in a smart contract. Um, and we separate the, the utility part onto uh, a side chain. Um, what this really allows us to do is, is um, almost by analogy, right? Like go back 100 years, we had actual gold in the vault. Um, and we issued little pieces of paper that, that were much more mobile and easier to work with um, that, that powered cash. Um, what is new today, though, is that this little piece of paper that we can issue to you is cryptographically verifiable. So if you hold such a note, you can actually check that the gold is in the bank. That, I think, was previously a big problem with, with gold-backed money. Um, and so, so if we separate the utility onto a side chain, it gives us mobility, because we can get to zero-cost transactions. Um, we can actually have member companies define what the behavior of those tokens is, um, while still giving the freedom of the users to always take the currency back to the open Ethereum space at any time they want. Um, and, and it also helps with privacy. Um, because if we work on uh, a sidechain technology to Ethereum, then we can uh, minimally ramp up 10x uh, performance. Plus, it is application specific, so you're not competing with other uh, transactions on that sidechain. But we also have actual structure for payment channels. One of the biggest problems with payment channels is the data availability to close the payment channels. Because we have a member company structure and the foundation uh, for, for high level guidance, we can make sure that the, the payment channels can be easily closed and we can use traditional uh, database technologies to really scale to internet scale. So we have two, two dimensions on which we can scale this. Um, and in addition, it also solves privacy, right? Um, because all the payment channel transactions, the receipts are kept off chain. And so in this sense, uh, both the member company can shield its internal transaction history and uh, the, the personally identifiable information of the users doesn't have to go on the chain. It only remains pseudo-anonymous balances. Um, and then I think Jason already neatly uh, presented that, that we want to have this uh, emphasis on the off-chain tools as well, right? So, so important parts here are, are a wallet module um, that it's embedded and that it can be uh, integrated seamlessly into the application so people can have managed keys without uh, worrying about it, but also that there exists a simple token wallet so that I, if you start realizing you're dealing with cryptocurrencies, you can get your simple token wallet and start owning your own keys and, and, and uh, take ownership of those. Um, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, let me move on. And so when I say we, we split the coin into two, um, it is very important that you can actually check that the, the gold is in the bank, um, right? Because otherwise, how do you know that you're actually holding a piece of value? Um, and so some people might find this a familiar pattern. Um, so what we've done here is effectively implemented a two-phase commit. So if on the left side you have what we call a value chain, like public Ethereum, um, then you need to show your intent that you want to stake this for branded tokens, so you move it into escrow. We can take a proof of that happening on public Ethereum, move it uh, to, to the side chain so that you can mint the new branded tokens into escrow there. Uh, the member company then needs to sign a receipt, present it to the escrow, which uh, helps release it, and that same receipt um, Sorry, my, I also have a cold <laughs> and my mouth is really dry right now. So I'm having it's a hard time cold. actually uh, pronouncing words. Uh, I'll you're, slow down and then great. it's fine. Great. Don't worry. Um, so, and then the same receipt also unlocks the escrow on public Ethereum to move it in a uh, staking contract. Um, the reverse process is exactly the same. The benefit of this is that you can um, 
always independently for every branded token verify that there's actually current, uh, a valued currency backing your token.